like real talk, kids are annoying, right? Like sometimes, like especially if you got two kids, like they can be annoying, especially if they can talk, right? Oh, doing my dance. Hey, I'm doing my dance. Don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. What's up, you guys? It's Madonna. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you don't know, I do healthcare related content um, that is educational, inspirational, and informational. I tend to like talk about mostly PA related stuff, but I do have other healthcare professionals on here. So please take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Today I'm going to be talking about like life as a mom and a PA student, um, soon to be PA. You know, a lot of people like I you know, you know fully and you're fully aware that yes, I'm a mom and I always talk about yes, you can do this. Absolutely, you can do this and you absolutely can. You can do whatever it is that you want to do as long as you make the time and you compartmentalize and you really like formulate this plan um, with your family for what things are going to look like for the next two or so years um, of whatever higher education you're doing. But with that being said, I just wanna like be real with you guys, right? So let's be real. It is not easy, okay? Like the number one thing that I feel like most parents need to know is that you need to have support. Like, yeah, you may be like a single parent and you're doing this thing on your own and props to you definitely, um, especially those single parents that are out there in PA school holding it down. But let me tell you, like, you still need to have that village, right? Like, you still need to have those people around you and that support system that's going to help you because, like, let's be real, like, my kids don't always get a shower every night, you know? Like, I might have to push that thing to the morning. Um, or maybe, like, because, you know, we try to, we're trying to do this thing where it's, like, at night you get a shower and then you, in the morning, like, you're just ready to roll for school. And that may not necessarily always be the case, right? Because you're studying or you're super tired and it's way past their bedtime and you have them sitting in front of the television so that you can study but mind you you'll make yourself feel good because it's a learning show shout out to magic school bus <laughs> seatbelts everyone teaching my kids about the human body but honestly you're doing all of these things to try to still like be a parent, but be a student at the same time. So like you need that support system, you need that village to help you run your household. And so for those of you who are in a relationship, you have a spouse, then like it's really important for you all to have that thing tight and have this, you know, kind of schedule in what you want to see life happen, like the roles that you all are going to take on in these next couple months as you get into whatever schooling it is that you're trying to get into. Number two, okay? Like I said earlier, like your kids can be annoying. And like for real, like I mean, I know y'all, I know y'all have seen that family guy where Stewie's like, mom, mama, mama, mooma. Mom, 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 mommy, mommy, mama, mama, mama. What? Hi. <laughs> and legit, y'all, like, I didn't know that was a thing until I had my second daughter. And, like, that, like, she, that, she is him. Like, that's her, okay? Like, she will continuously call you and call you and call you and call you and call you. And even if you say yes, like, for whatever reason, like, she doesn't hear you and she's, like, cons consistently, like, sticks with it. She's calling you and calling you. And it's, like dang like what like can i like i just need a break and it's okay all right it's okay to feel like that it is absolutely okay to think that your kids are annoying that does not make you a bad parent okay and so do not feel bad about that like i have a lot of friends that will admit to that okay like they will drive you nuts but as long as you can rein it back in you know, don't yell at your kids for no reason, like rain it back down so that you can sit up here and have like you have the conversation. You let them know, hey, yeah, what's going on? All right, what do you need? All right. And then you let them know politely, like and sternly, you know, mommy is studying or daddy's studying. If you need anything, if it's really important, important, you know, just come to me. If not, like here, this is what you can do. And that helps out a lot. So definitely do that. As far as like everything else that you have to do as a parent and as a wife in PA school, like, look, like sometimes like the house is not gonna be clean. 
okay? And that's okay. Like, it's not gonna be clean every single day, and that's all right. Don't feel guilty for certain things kind of dropping by the wayside, because you can pick that stuff back up on the weekend or however it is that you wanna do it. But do not feel down and bad about yourself because you're not up to par, or you don't, like, your house isn't sparkling clean like so-and-so on the internet, because that ain't real, okay? I'm gonna just put it out there. I just want you guys to understand, and I wanna give you guys some motivation that yes, you can do this. Being a PA student and a mom and a wife is not easy. It is doable and it's okay for certain things to lapse, but don't worry about it. It's just for a short period of time. It's not always an easy path, but it will be worth it and you will be fine, okay? So just some motivation for you guys who think that you know you may be having a little bit of mom guilt or dad guilt for this you know trying to go through this whole process you're doing this for your family you will be great i hope this helps you guys because i needed to hear that a couple times when i was in school okay let me know what y'all let and drop by the wayside <laughs> while you're trying to make it through pa school leave that in the comment section below as well and if you haven't already done so like this video follow me on instagram at adonna the pa and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time Yeah.